Good morning, it's a whole new week again. Uh, this week I don't have quite so much I need to work on for clients, so I'm actually gonna get on with filming videos the next couple of days. Cool, so my airbrushing that I did yesterday has been drying overnight. Oh, <laughs> there it is, my lovely rainbow, woo! So it's been drying overnight, so next I need to give this a really good press. So you have to use heat on it for 30 seconds. Oh, maybe I can use my steamer actually, that might be easier. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that. Yeah, so I'm going to use my steamer, rather than an iron, um, to set the dye. And then I'm going to put it through the washing machine and just test how colour fast and washable it is. Because I want to do my first dress with airbrushing on. Hopefully next week um, I'm going to do a Halloween inspired dress and it's going to go from black to orange. I've ordered loads of orange crystals, I hope they arrive in time. And I think I'm going to do the main part of it with black stretch velvet. So I need to order that as well. And then it will go from black down to orange and crystals at the bottom with some tulle. Like really um, figure hugging mermaid shape. So the only thing I've ordered so far is the crystals. So I need to order the velvet. Um, I've got black tulle. And I need to order the paint for the air garden. And then I guess I'll have to use white fabric for the bottom and then line it in black. Yeah, that'll work. And then after that, the next dress that I want to use the airbrush for is this sunset dress that I've been talking about forever since I got back from France. So I think, yeah, do the black dress with a little bit of airbrushing as a sort of test, and then on to the big sunset dress. So really excited to do more airbrush stuff. So um, I, I think I'm going to steam this and chuck it in the washing machine first. And then I'm going to get on with sewing the strapless dress. Oh, I need to show you this. So, um, my friend gave this to me yesterday. She found it at an op shop for $2. $2. Um, I'm not sure where it's from. I'm thinking maybe North African. It's a um, strapless dress that's sort of, it's really just long. It hasn't got a lot of shape to it and it's elasticated at the back. Then it's got this beautiful sheer coat over the top. But the reason she bought it is all of the embellishments. So it's got the most wonderful gold embroidery and then these rainbow crystals. So they're all around the front of the jacket, but then they go the whole way down the length of the dress as well. It's just incredible. Two dollars, two dollars, it's madness. So yeah, if you know where it might be from, I'm thinking maybe like Moroccan or Turkish, but I'm not really sure to be honest. So yeah, if you know sort of what the heritage of this might be, I'd love to know. Um, but for now it's just going to live, oh it's got a belt with it too, this gold belt. For now I'm just going to hang it with my stash of stuff, which is huge. And then yeah, one day I think I'll find the right project to take this um, beautiful embroidery off and use it on something else because it's just gorgeous. So I've given this a really good steam now. I've been over all of it quite a few times just to hopefully make sure that the dye is nice and set. So now I'm going to put it in the washing machine and see how colour fast it is. So this is my airbrush test after I've washed it and it has faded a fair bit actually. Um, maybe the steamer wasn't enough to set it before I washed it so I might do another test on the other end of the sheet and try ironing it this time and see what happens. Um, all of the metallics have gone, the gold's gone completely. It's just like left a little coloured stain, but all the actual glittery bits have gone. So I think maybe airbrush dresses will be, I wonder if you can dry clean it. That might be, they might be a dry clean only thing, judging by this. So I think maybe I just need to do more layers of colour as well, because I think the colour was quite sparse. So I think I have to build it up a little bit more. But I'll keep experimenting and see what happens. This is where I'm up to with the strapless dress. So the lining is all completely together and finished now and all the boning's in. I filmed all that. And um, the outside's still in two halves. I've, I've started um, cutting the tulle, but I'm going to get on with that tomorrow. Um, and I've marked where the first layer is going to go. I'm going to do five layers, so half as much as on my big white puffy skirt here. Um, and it's not going to have the petticoat underneath it, I don't think. So it's going to have quite a different look to the big white tulle skirt. And I'm also going to cut it so it's in layers. 
So instead of measuring and having each layer exactly the same at the bottom, I want it to get progressively shorter because I don't want to hide the sequins completely. I want it to be nice and black here, but I still want to see a lot of the sequins coming through as you get nearer the hem. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight. So I'm going to go and do some editing and I'll see you in the morning. So I've been working on the strapless dress today and I've got all five layers of chill on. And I just love how this skirt's looking. I was thinking about putting a petticoat underneath it, but I love this shape where it goes back in at the bottom. And I think it's gonna move nicely as whoever's wearing it walks in it, because there's, there's a lot of fabric there. So it's gonna be quite squishy and swingy. So I've got both halves completely together, and I've got the zip in. So the next thing I can do is join them together around the top. So kind of on the home stretch finally with this one, I made it way more complicated than I need to, so it's taking longer. And the part one of the video is doing really well, so I really need to get part two up. So I'm going to go and have some dinner. And then I'll see if I've got the energy to come, come and finish the next part and film it. There's a bit of fluff there. Is that a fluff? Um, yeah, I'm not feeling brilliant today. I woke up with a really sore throat. Um, and just feeling really breathless and a bit under the weather. So I think I've got a bit of a cold, which is a bit crap, but never mind. I'll, um, yeah, I'm gonna go have a dinner and then maybe come and carry on in a minute. But I love it. Oh, look at it, it's huge. It's massive. I want to wear it somewhere. <laughs> so it's starting to come together and oh my god I just love it I love this skirt I absolutely love this skirt I love that you can just see the purple through it as it moves you'll see more at the hem when it's being worn but it definitely needs a lot more black on the bodice to now balance how black this part is so really happy with how it's looking I've got to just press around the top I've got to join the outside and lining of the bodice together let me show you the back so the back is all together and the zip is in. <clears throat> so tomorrow will be, yeah, join the bottom of the bodice, do the hem, do the embellishments, and hopefully I can get the video up tomorrow night. Or am I being optimistic? I'm probably being optimistic. I'm usually, I'm usually optimistic about these things and it takes me a day longer than I, um, than I anticipate. Probably because I'll go over the top of the crystals on the bodice too. But I'm super, super happy with how it's looking. So I managed to find the time to get this dress finished and the video um, I put up yesterday. So this is the finished dress. I love it so much. I'm so glad I didn't just do a plain dress, even though it took me longer than I thought it would. I'm so glad I didn't do just a plain dress that I really sort of showed my style as well as doing a strapless tutorial. The videos are doing really well. I'm really happy with that. Um, so this is my finished dress. I added this bow on the front in the end because it just needed... I just needed that something but I absolutely love it I love the way it hangs as well it just looks beautiful hung up here like that and I love the chill layers so, super happy with how that came out yeah so I, I ended up a little bit behind this week um this dress took a bit longer than I thought plus it's school holidays and things always take longer to do during school holidays because my daughter's here god love her even though she's super lovely and helpful I still need to spend time with her too. So I'm a bit behind on sewing. So I'm back working on client orders today and I'm gonna end up sewing pretty much every day. It's a long weekend, but I'm gonna end up working every day just to try and catch up um, while my husband's home. Yeah, so in between sewing, I'm also been working on the garden as well. So I might give you a quick garden tour and update because everything's going really well. And my wisteria is out, so I'm gonna show you that. You won't be able to smell it, but you can see it. You just have to imagine how beautiful the smell is. So this is the end of my wisteria and this is where my clients come into my studio actually so they walk under this beautiful purple canopy and it just smells incredible. Ah, it's so sweet and beautiful. So if I bring you around into the rest of the garden, oh, the patio is a mess but things are starting to come to life for spring. So my little greenhouse that I bought a few weeks ago has worked really well. We've actually planted out a whole bunch of stuff already and there's a whole lot more that needs to be planted in the next few days. So we've got carrots and tomatoes at the top there. There's peas, I've already planted loads of the peas. Um, these are all flowers, that's a 
that's the bee and butterfly mix and then the back is marigolds so they're ready to plant as well we've got what was that oh zucchini I've already planted a whole bunch of zucchini too then we've started some onions chilies and melons I think we're gonna plant the melons tomorrow as well then more recently we've planted lobelia strawberry and capsicum seeds so capsicums are just starting to come up and then over here we've got more chilies and sweet peas but they haven't come up yet they, they haven't been in there very long so so today I actually bought some I bought some geraniums last week so I've planted those today these little daisy things lasted from last year more geraniums because they remind me of France and I just bought this one because of the colour look at it it's just <gasps> incredible I haven't planted that one yet then if you remember my wine barrel from last year my little box hedge in there starting to grow up into my topiary frame and I've got red geraniums and blue lobelia around that now then along the veggie patch we've got tomatoes and climbing cucumbers to save space peas potatoes um, I think these are snow peas, zucchini, more potatoes, they've gone crazy, sweet potatoes, hay chickens, um, strawberries, beans, lettuce, kale, some herbs, look at the oregano, oh my god, that tastes so good, we've been using lots of it and it's getting bigger and bigger, the chives are doing well too, then we've got uh, kale, lettuce, capsicum and then more potatoes, loads of potatoes going at the minute and then there's some more herbs at the end so we've got some rosemary, mint and basil so yeah the whole garden's starting to come to life the fruit trees are doing really well this is the first year we've had quite so much blossom on the apple tree as well so hopefully we'll get some apples this year and then we're going to plant the flowers and the melons around the bottom of all the fruit trees. And we're actually thinking about joining all these containers together to make an extra long garden bed. So keep the grass between it and join these up to make more garden beds. But we'll see because I think we're going to run out of room very soon. And here's my little chickens. They're all doing well. Hey girls. Cool, so that's it for this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be working on stuff for clients, so nothing I can share, unfortunately. Um, next week, I oh, don't even know what next week will bring. Let's see. Catch you soon.